Hello everyone, I'm back doing another video and in this video I'm going to be sharing how to get the area using coordinates of the top right corners and the top left corners of x and y. Okay, so we're going to do x1, y1, x2, y2 equals map integer input dot split. So then if we get four inputs, just say like 8, 5, 5, 8. Then it'll go, the first one will go to x1, the next one will go to y2, the next one will go to x2, the next one will go to y2. And then we'll just make a function called area, and we'll use those coordinates, x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we'll return the absolute value of x1 minus x2 multiplied by the absolute value of y1 minus y2. So that's getting, the first one is getting x, the next one is getting y, and x is the width, y is the height, and then we multiply them together and that gives us the area. So then what we're gonna do, print area, x1, y1, x2, y2. And then if we just give it eight, five, five, eight, it gives a nine as the area. Since eight minus five is three and five minus eight is negative three, but the absolute value is three. So then three times three is nine. And we can see that by a drawing quickly. This is eight, five, and then eight comma five. Right, and then eight, and then the next one. So just say this is five over here. So we're just gonna make a dot here for five. And no, sorry, it's the, uh, oh yeah. And then the eight, so that means it's, I at the top right and bottom left, but this is still work. So then if it's like eight is up here, so then no matter what coordinates you're given, you can still get the area using this function. And then this is three, eight minus five is, I mean, eight minus five is three. And then this, this one is also three because this and then three times three equals nine. Okay, so that's basically how to get the area. And we'll see you in the next video.